Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get everything centered and all that. Sadie, let's hear your A. having fun with that dunkla. Good, yeah. We want to just pull that white guy together. And then we're going into your Vivaldi Concerto Book 5. And you're in the Book 5 class this year. Yes. And we do not have group this week, correct? Uh, you do have group. Saturday group. So Saturday, yes. but, yeah. not, but not uh, no group for her tomorrow. Oh, right, right. Okay. Right, Saturday we start. Okay, let's check out. Can you you do your Statue of Liberty? Just make sure you're comfy, good, and rest of Wow, I can't believe you're almost as tall as I am or as short as I am. Wow, look at that. And how does your arm work here? Oh my gosh, is this a three quarter size? Not yet. Uh, this is a half. Okay, okay, well, it's still a good size. So we're gonna keep it like this and let's check out your bow. Good, and Keep it so loose here. Good. And can we just warm up with our four marshallese for bow? So we'll start in the middle. We'll do poof, poof. Well, we'll do two in each half. Two, good. And we'll just rest here. And, and so we'll do four all together. One, two, and then one, two, three, three four, three. That's it. Good. That's it. And this is so loose that your little, and this stays down, that your little finger is just like that. Good. And one, two. Good. So we're going to do two in each half. So good, easy, loose. Two, three, four, up, 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 up. Good. And this is good. And again. Let's make sure this is so loose and thumb. Good. Up, 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 up. Good. And even looser here. And the D string. Right? So it can move around. going to just roll back and forth here. That's right, with our level. And watch your feet. We want to keep well balanced. And the violin stays up. Good. And see how the little finger? Now we're just going to use our arm like a, like a wing. Good. And then we'll put the bow in the middle. And we roll back and forth. Good. And the violin gets to be a little higher. Good. And the, G, and the tip, and the tip, we do the same thing. Good. Okay. And which scale are you working on? Um, A minor. A okay. So that is the beginning of the book. Okay. So let's do the first two stops per bow. Good. 
Square and then just the fingering. Three. Two, three. Two, one, two. Let's first do A.
Dan will play. notes just very light shift here right and then the little finger stays light good good and second finger good and third finger Good. Good. And fourth finger. Good. 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 And back. Good. Good. Okay. So just a little bit of that every day is going to be really helpful. And then uh, I want to do this exercise. We're going to go and off the fourth and first. So off. Down, down, fourth, down, up, up, up. Oh, good, the other way. So we that no, so start with all four down. That's right. So you go and then you'll take 
Ah, no, this fourth finger comes out first. Ah, ah, ah. And then up, down, down, four. Good. Down, ah, ah, and up, down, down, four. And the D string. Good. And when they come down, they're very lazy. Down, down. So I'm just straight ahead. If your thumb moves with you, so I go down and up, and I'll shift slowly, and I just stop when I get there. Then we put it together.
second. I want to lighten up the finger. See, if you look at my finger, can you see how the string is not pressed down? But do your Statue of Liberty and let the violin rest right in that on that collarbone. Good, that's really good. Good. That. Now put it together. separate bows, but I'm assuming you're practicing those too. Okay, and how is your little part? Good. Okay, and we're doing this one. Yes. Okay, can we just do with three slurs per bow? here. 
let's see, how about here? So you want to go from up, see how I go up, can you, that's right, and then rest it, and then let it come down, good. So, A, good. Oh, but there, we didn't hear that, that's right, good. If you can go to here, but really, if you can go to here, you get a big smile, okay? So, August? Uh, 24th. 24th, okay. Okay, so this one, um, Sadie, we're going to play with two bows per measure. So... familiar? Did we do something in A minor already today? Scale. Yes. Whew, that was good. <laughs> okay. So, you know, when you have your shifts here, slow. It's very nice and slow. You see the difference? Let me show you. It, you hardly can see it. This is kind of one way, and it's kind of droopy. Now, I'm just going to put the violin, see my collarbone here? I'm going to rest it in the collarbone, and that's the shell, and now it's not droopy. Can you do the undroopy one? That's it. So you have to kind of, that's it. That's great.
Great. Now, this is a beautiful melody. So, can we let it be? A little bit more legato, slow. Slow shift. So these are these are not hard, you know. Just a nice little waltz here. And then here So you might have heard this melody before. And maybe your dad can play for you the New World Symphony of Dvorak. Okay? Okay, that's very good. Moving right along here. And are we doing number three? Yes, I went into it. Okay, good. So just can we do one measure per bow? I don't need to hear the practice ways. Good. So when you put your violin up, instead of coming here, can you come here to here? That's right. Like the nose goes up and then it comes down. Good. That, that's good. That's good. Just start at the frog so that you have enough bow and really loose that little finger. Good. One, two, up. idea. Good. Okay, we could take more times with the whole measure for bow. But can we go once more just the beginning and we want to <coughs> hear how the bow is really enjoying every note. Thank you. 
that, that's good. Okay, so the first two are good. So see if we just concentrate on getting the whole measure to both. So the first here, just a half a bow. measure so then you need to start here to practice with the whole measure per bow right so why don't we do just this one with the eight per bow Review these the measure per bow, then starting at four, do eight per bow, the rhythms, and then the whole measure. Okay? Okay, can we do your tankwa? Have you played this with your mom yet? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we have to play it through to the end, but we've mm -hmm. mostly just been practicing up until here. Okay. She does have memorized, I think, till the second variation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So, almost done. Good. So again, every time you, that's right. Just look at this, my nose, up to down. Your beautiful cadence here. You see how you're going to open your forearm? Two. Nice. Okay, let's do once more. See, we're going to make it. It's like, have you heard of the magic flute, the opera? No, I have not. Mm, might play her the Papageno. Papagena little duet where it's the magic flute. It sounds just like this. Good. Now, keep your head really loose. And we... A nice harmonic. Do it once more. Good. So, we can take the fingers. Take your fingers off. Good. 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 Now, listen to... We want a really good D natural. That way again. Good. And can the D be right in tune? I have to hear the D. That away, good, and then and then we rest, and then here how beautiful.
Here, quote now. Adjust your violin. Be up to the down. Good.
Okay, so how about if we take our pickaxe, pop, peek it the other way.
take time. Ba, ba. Good. You hear again? See, if I use little bow, then I'm not going to hear them. So I need at least half a bow. Good. Good. Down. Good. And this guy needs more bow. down, right? We're just grabbing the string. Good. So. Ah. 
should this be all memorized and ready to go for next week? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And if your mom can't play it, I could do this. So you are ready to roll. Okay. Right. Is that enough right. for you to do? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's like three pages of notes. Okay. <laughs>